but the music being a little crazy? Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, I just say, the music is not worth to be written unless it's a little bit crazy. I have taught more than 30 years and I am known as mostly as a composer. At this point, retired, but I'm not retired from making music. I'm trying to start the day with a creative period. And if I accomplish that, I know that I'm in business. But for me, you know, I, I, when I do this, I actually hear music. You've heard Wagnerian chords in there. <laughs> well, everybody was here. <laughs> All the ghosts came up, you know? Right. Why? Why do you say that? Well, I don't have all the answers, and I don't have absolutes either. Musical problems, artistic problems, there are many, many solutions, and they have to come from inside. If I am not learning something from the students, I consider this an absolute failure. Here we are standing in front of my house of birth, and I was born here in 1937. We are taking this picture as a memorial of times that have gone. My fate was determined by the things that happened historically in Europe to millions of people. The greatest gift that my parents gave me was moving to Israel, which meant a completely different life. Being kind of a displaced person added a lot to my life. Many people who ask about me, what's your profession? I'm sometimes quipping on it and saying, well, I'm a professional wandering Jew. We've always talked about the parallels between visual art and music. Right. One line and everything was either up or I saw your music before I met you. Before you met me. Yeah. Literally, I saw yeah. your music. So we are opening here a costume in which I impersonated Hugo Bob, a Dadaist. 
I haven't unfurled this for many, many years. Excuse me that I'm dropping my pants. Oh. <laughs> Stücke von grüner dauernd flatter in meine Zimmer. I owe you Iman, 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 Iman to zähmen das Center der vier Viva Dada! <laughs> I like to be in a situation where I have to interact with people I have never met before, languages that I never heard. The idea of being in a movement and the idea of breathing a different air. Basically, any place in the world is an inspiration for creativity. And this is what keeps me going. literally meeting every single Friday, <laughs> I would say almost religiously, right, <laughs> to discuss mostly artistic matters. It's an ongoing relationship, hopefully for a long time. It's hard to process how you relate to it because you don't even have time to come down before you're producing the next thing after that. I need to surprise myself with every new piece. The last thing you want to do is imitate yourself. Inspiration comes while you do it, because there isn't another time. And I think especially these days, right, being 81, <laughs> there is nothing to procrastinate. The greatest sense of fulfillment when you hear in your own music relationships. And it's very helpful that I am working with live musicians who expect me to deliver. And this is a tremendous incentive for me to get up and do the work. <laughs>